Milford Mill Academy here in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Tim Toon Jr. and this is a BCPS TV production here in week four, week four of the college, week four of the high school football season. We have the Milford Mill Millers hosting the Franklin Indians here for a big Baltimore County matchup. The Millers undefeated at 3-0, going up against Franklin Indians at 2-1. They are the defending state champions, three-time state champions in 2013, 2014, and 2018. These two teams are very heated rivals, the cream of the crop in Baltimore County. They're both fighting for the top spot here in the Baltimore County Division I standings. Here on a crisp, sunny evening here in Baltimore, Maryland. The Milford Mill Millers will receive the kickoff here as they won the coin toss and they have elected to receive. Kicking off for Franklin is number 86, senior Simon Spath, who last year in the state championship for Franklin kicked the game-winning field goal to defeat Ligonor to win the state title. So a lot of seasoned veterans on this Franklin Indians team. Quarterback Vernon Brown, running back Vaughn Reams, and senior wide receiver Makai Felton. Spath has his hand up at the 40 and kicks it, and we're set off here at Milford Mill. And Franklin has it, excuse me, Milford Mill has it, and short gain down at about the 24-yard line. Some of the key players to watch here for the Millers of Milford Mill is quarterback Rishon Holmes, Jr. Has four touchdowns, three 682 passing yards, 98 yards on the ground, and a score. Also, their tailback slash linebacker, Jordan Morant, is the player to watch number five in the backfield. Holmes under center for the first play. And he hands it off to Morant, cuts it inside, gets about three or four yards. Nice running room there made by the Miller offensive line. Mosley on the tackle. That tackle was by Amon Mosley, linebacker. Had a touchdown last week for the Franklin Indians, primarily known as a linebacker. Second down. The ball's marked at the Miller's 33-yard line. Rashawn Holmes, first play out in the gun. Moran to the right. Tyree Shepard in motion, the speedster slot. He's going to take the carry. He's looking for a seam. 40 and tackled at about the 43. Gets a gain of about maybe three, four yards on the carry. The run by Tyree. We've got a stoppage by the officials. Penalty flag. There's a penalty Here's flag. Yard line. And looks like it's going to be a hold on Milford. First penalty of the evening. The will be off. So they're going to, it's going to be about a 10 to 15 yard penalty. Going to go back a few yards. Some of the key players to watch here on Franklin on the defensive end is defensive end number 40, Montrell Harris. Leads the team with five sacks. Damon David in the secondary, number two, 23 tackles and a pick last week. Here doing on second down in the pistol. Play action, pressure coming on Holmes, and he's sacked. And right on cue, number 40, Montre Harris on the sack for the Millers. Excuse me, for the Indians. And with that, that's sack number six for Montre Harris. So that's going to make a third and extremely long here for the Millers as they go here in reverse. Shawan Lewis also in there on the sack with Montre Harris. So a lot of ground here for the Millers to cover here on their first drive. Third and extremely long, Holmes back under center, hands it to Morant, 
and stuffed by a host of Indians. Maybe a yard or two gained on that play, and that's going to bring out the punt team for Milford. The Millers will send in the punt team. So first drive, one here by Franklin. And Milford's going to punt it here. Deep back for Franklin is number four, the speedster, Von Reams. And there's the punt. And looks like it might have been deflected, but it takes a Milford bounce. And that football is going to roll right at the 39-yard line. Just inside the 40 yard line. It'll be marked. So as we switch gears, switch sides over to the offense for Franklin, we've got senior quarterback Vernon Brown the third. Won a state championship last year. First year starter. Seven scores on the year. Has a variety of weapons. Number 19, Corey Crawford. Number three, Anthony Morant. Franklin in their four wide set trips. Three trips to the left to the right. Brown has a snap, throws a quick screen to Morant, and incomplete. Brown's pass is incomplete. It's second down. And now up to second down, as we saw there on the play, replay. Brown looking to go quickly to Morant, one of his very speedy, talented receivers for Franklin. Second down, 10, ball still at the 39. Brown in the pistol. And he's going to hand that off to Breams. Gets maybe a yard or two on the play here at third down. Kobe Roberts on the tackle for Milford. Kobe Roberts on the tackle, number eight for Milford Mill. One of the top tacklers on the Six team, along with Jordan Morantz. On the last play. Third down. Third down. Brown rolls to his right. Pressure coming. Looking, and he's going to throw that out of bounds. Great, excellent pass rush there by number 22, Makai Booker for Milford Mill. One of a strong, one of the three strong players of a strong Milford Mill linebacking core with Booker, Morant, and number 21, Khalil Scott. Zachary and a quick Franklin, three and out for Franklin. And the punt for the Indians. Back on the return here for the Millers, number six, Keyshawn Silver. And punting for Franklin, Zachary Kaplan. Nice punt. And it's going to bounce at the 20. Still rolling. And it's going to rest at about the 16-yard line. So both defenses coming out strong. Milford going for their second possession here in the first half. First quarter, not a lot of offense going thus far. Milford had a little bit of movement, but had a penalty, holding penalty, that stalled the drive. First and 10 for the Millers. Drive number two, looking for a little bit more success here for the Millers. With a three wide set, Khalil Scott. Number 21 in the slot, and the handoff to Morant, dragging a host of Indians, gets about two or three yards gain. Third carry of the game for Morant. Three-yard carry there for Morant. Batre on the tackle for Franklin. Ball at the 17, second down. Holmes looking to the sideline for the play call. Morant goes from his right, left to right. Gets the snap. Quick screen to Tyree Shepard. Breaks a tackle, but only gets a little bit more movement until they swarm by number 40, Montreal Harris. Very active on these first two drives here. As there's the juke there on the replay as the defensive end Harris there on the tackle. 
already had a sack on his last possession. They're down here quickly to third down, and four yards a game. Number three, Samuel Scott subbing in at tailback, spelling Moran. There's the handoff to Jamar Gaynor, and he's tripped up. And that's going to be fourth down. And with that, the punt team is coming on for Milford. Here with six minutes, 20 seconds left here in the opening quarter here at the wonderful campus of Milford Mill Academy. Franklin versus Milford Mill, Baltimore County matchup. Punting for the Millers is number 20, Isaiah Craig. And back to punt is Reams, and that's a raggedy punt, and that's going to roll down to the 40 and rest at about the 41-yard line. And here, ball at the 45-yard line of Franklin, still seeking to get into Milford Mill territory here on their second drive of the first quarter. We have two tailbacks in the backfield, three wide receiver set, Vernon Brown. Takes the snap, hands it off to Reams. Nice block there by Mosley. He's got to see him, Reams. Down to about the... Milford Mill, 43. That it looks it's about to be enough for a Mil Franklin first down. Jarrell Gaynor in there for the tackle. So that's the first first down of the game, and it goes to Franklin on a 10-yard carry by Von Reeves. Makai Felton in motion. Fake hands it off to... Jonathan Smith, the tailback number one for Franklin. And a strong carry there by Jonathan Smith. Had a touchdown for Franklin last week in their 49 to 10 win against the Dundalk Owls. So two plays, two first downs for Franklin. They're inching closer into the red zone. And the official puts the ball down at the 31. 5.32 left here in the opening quarter and counting. And there's the handoff to Von Reams. Gets short to no game. Number 22, Makai Booker in there on the stop. The lanky, rangy defensive end for the Millers. Picked up about a yard. On the last play, it'll be second and nine. Second down and nine yards to go for Franklin. Brown under center. Smith back in at tailback. He's going to take the carry. And he's stalemated right at the line of scrimmage. Price on the tackle for the Millers. Price in on the tackle for Milford Mill. And we have an official timeout. And we resume play here. Three wide receivers to the left. Crawford, the lone receiver at the bottom of the screen, number 19. And Brown's going to roll to his left. And... Pass is complete to one of his one of his receivers. That's Anthony Morant. That's his first catch of the game on two targets. And that tackle was by number seven, Skyler Baker, senior defensive back for the Millers. He would fourth down and about a yard to go. Ball resting at the 22-yard line. Fourth and, 
And Brown's going to sneak. And he's going to get that first down. Nice, strong push by the Franklin offensive line. Here with Franklin, they bring back all of their remaining, all of their offensive linemen. Strong offensive core that got the Millers to the state championship last year. Some of those offensive linemen include Cole Gill and senior captain Isaiah Lewis, number 58. Brown, he's going to hand it to the tailback. Jonathan Brown, he's fine, got a seam, still moving, keeping the feet turning, rumbling, 10, he's still moving. My God, old buddy, he's in there for a touchdown. Jonathan Smith would not be denied. That was a tremendous touchdown run by Jonathan Smith. Almost reminiscent of Elijah Solomon Franklin tailback who had a touchdown last year on the first play for scrimmage against this same Milford Mill Millers. As we saw there on the replay, arm tackling, not able to bring the big tailback Smith down as he bulldozes his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Simon Smith in for the extra point. And Simon Smith here for the extra points. As Franklin rushing a last guy on the field to get 12, and that's going to be a penalty. That's going to move Franklin back about five yards to make it a little bit longer of an extra points. Alex Jones is the holder for Franklin. Simon Spath here kick his first extra point of the contest. There's the snap. Kick is up. And the extra point is good. So with three minutes, 23 seconds left here in the first quarter, on drive and number two, Franklin bulldozes their way with a strong running game. Jonathan Smith on the touchdown. Franklin leading seven to nothing against the host, Milford Mill Millers. So after a quick three and out on the first drive for Franklin, here on their second drive, establish the run game with Von Rams and Jonathan Smith. Got a couple of first downs in the game and used that strong running game for them to get in the end zone for the touchdown to take the momentum and the tempo early here in the football game. So back deep for Milford is number four, Tyree Shepard. And number six, Keyshawn Silver. And there's the kick. Shepard has it at about the 12. Takes a step. Oh, and he's tripped up. If he wouldn't have got tripped up, the promised land was wide open for Shepard. And we have a flag on the play here. And it's going to be a face mask. Grabbing the face by mask by Franklin. So that's going to move Milford. Up about 15 yards. And mark the penalty off where the foul occurred. So and that that the officials are going to rest the, place the ball at about the Milford Mill 39-yard line. 39 yard line. Milford Mill in their spread offense, four wide receivers. Jordan Morant, the lone back to the left. Play action, Holmes finds his tight end. Khalil Scott shakes the defender, 40, and take it down at about the 36-yard line. Rashad Holmes connects with his security blanket, number 21, Khalil Scott. 
at tight end. And now they're in, Milf they're in Franklin ter territory at the 37. Holmes got two backs in there in the formation. Shepard to the left, Moran to the right. And there's a quick pass. Oh, what a pop. That was Damon David, the safety in there for Franklin with a big pop, as we saw here on the replay. Excellent play there. The intended target was Corey McCormick, wide receiver for Milford. So now we got second and 10. Holmes looking for the call from the coaches on the sideline. Second down, 10. 2.43 left. Hand off to Moran. And a tremendous rush by the tribe of Indians, led by number 56. Austin Amani in there on the stop. As well, number 42, Nathaniel Myers in there on the stop for Franklin. And that's going to make it third down and long. Ball at the 41-yard line. Third and a long 16. Ball at the 42. Four wide set. Scott in the, game, in the tailback. Holmes is going to scramble and finds his man. But he's going to be short of the first down. That was number 10, Shamar Brooks, the sophomore wide receiver. Fourth down and about, looks to be about three yards left to gain for the Millers. Holmes in the pistol. And there's the fake handoff, the reverse to Shepard. Ooh, and he gets popped. And that will end the Mill for Mill drive with an exclamation point. Ran right into his own defender. One minute, 15 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Franklin, touchdown drive on drive number two. Looking for a little more of the same on drive number three. Brown hands it off to the tailback, Scott. And he stopped in there. Makai Booker quickly in there on the stop. May have gotten back to the line of scrimmage on that. Davis on a short gain, picks up three yards. It'll be second and seven. Three yards gained. Second down, seven yards to go. And we're less than a minute. Ball the 32. Brown hands it off to Reams. Stiff arm. Find a seam for Reams. And that is enough for a Franklin first down. Reams the ball carrier. 35 seconds and the counting here in the first quarter. First first here early, Franklin staying put with their run game. Another strong here by Von Reams. First down at the 40, 42 yard line. And there's the handoff to Mosley and he will go absolutely nowhere. That's number eight, Kobe Roberts in there on the stop. Tackle, strong tackle for loss. And that's gonna be the final play here of the opening frame here. Here in Baltimore, Maryland, Milford Mill Academy High School. Franklin leads to Milford Mill, seven to nothing.
So as both teams switch sides, both teams, excuse me, Franklin has a strong, steady diet of the run game with their tailback Jonathan Smith and Vaughn Reams, the utility tailback number four. Milford Mill still looking for some success here in the game. As we see here, the first quarter highlights, there's the first big play of the game there by Jonathan Smith, very reminiscent of, again, Elijah Solomon's strong run where he would not be denied for the touchdown. And some of the Milford Mill highlights here, success in the passing game. As we see, Damon David there on the hit. And both teams back here on the field for the start of the second quarter. Second, and seven. second down. The ball's on the 35 yard line. Three First receivers to the right. Brown all alone in the gun. Pressure coming. And he's sacked by a host of Millers. That was number 22, Makai Booker in there on the stop. Looked like he might have got sacked right above the line of scrimmage. That was big number 55, Eric Smith in there on the stop. Third down and long for Franklin. Trips to the left. Brown initially looking for the screen and he's gonna be sacked. Nope, he's still moving, excuse me. And he's gonna escape to the 40 yard line. And that's gonna be fourth down as we saw here on the replay. For Vernon Brown there, shake and bake, able to escape the Millers. But they will be punting it away to Milford Mill. Number six, Keyshawn Silver back, the return man for the Millers. Kaplan, high punt. Fair catch signal there by Silver. And he's going to stop. Fair catch at about the 31. Bill for Bill. Starting here, their own territory at the 31-yard line. Looking to venture into Franklin territory and put some points on the board. Got four wide receivers in the spread. Holmes rolls to his right, escaping. And that pass is going to be intercepted. A Franklin turnover. Sire Hopkins, the senior linebacker, in there on the interception for Franklin. And that was a tremendous read there by the Franklin defense, bringing the pressure. Sire Hopkins sitting there in the zone, being in the right place at the right time for the interception, first turnover of the football game. So they've got excellent field position at the Milford Mill 32 yard line. Reams the tail back to the left. And that's gonna be a trick play, direct snap to Reams. And he's gonna be tripped up. Gain of about three or four, Price in on the tackle for Milford. Tailback number one, John the Smith, coming into the game here. Second and six. At tailback. Ball Second down, yard six line. yards to go. Ball just outside the red zone at the Milford 21. And there's the handoff to Smith. And he runs right into a host of Millers. 
Not a lot of running room there for Smith. Robinson and Brown in on the tackle for the Millers. Brown and Robinson in there on the stop for Milford. So quickly up to a third down up a yard and short on the for Franklin. Way. Back to the trips. Number 84, Alex Jones, the lone receiver at the bottom of the screen. Brown, screen pass, finds his man, Crawford, and stumbles at about the two. Quick slip screen, excellent execution by the Indians. As the quick sidearm play. That's Crawford, he had two touchdowns last week for Franklin against Dundalk. At 6'2", 200 pounds. Says they're, as they're right at the Milford five yard line, they bring back tailback Jonathan Smith. Six foot, 210 pound, senior tailback. Mosley, number 26, the fullback to the right in the pistol. Brown hands it off to Mosley. He's got an angle. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Franklin Indians. That is the second touchdown by Mosley in two weeks. Had a touchdown last week in garbage time against Dundalk. Second touchdown. So lining up here for the extra point is Simon Spaff. Alex Jones, the holder. Stab is good, hold is good. Kick is up, and it's good. Here with nine minutes, four seconds left here in the second quarter. Franklin uses their run game to get on the board again. They lead Milford Mill 14-0. As tremendous execution there by Franklin, by their defense getting the interception, putting them in great field position, and a steady die out of the run game and a quick screen pass to Corey Crawford to get them inside the red zone and a nice touchdown run. Here for Franklin, who is the defending 3A state champions, as I said, they won last year against Ligonore. But as for Baltimore County play, they had a three-way tie last year with Milford Mill and the Owls of Dundalk. So Simon Spath has his hand raised. He's ready to kick it off here for Franklin. And he boots it. Shepard has it at about the five. Looking for a seam. But nowhere to go as he's tackled at about the 26. Milford Mill back here on the field for their first drive of the second quarter. A little bit of a slow slugger start, not a lot of success. And there's the handoff to Jordan Moran, strong, powerful run. Hit the hole with a, gets a strong five, six yards as he finds a seam there. And that was number 55, Shawan Lewis. In there on the stacks on the stop for Franklin. Four wides. Holmes drops back over the middle. And that pass is intercepted. Another turnover. That was the interception by number 22 senior linebacker Wayne Brooks. Uh, bad decision there by Holmes. Throw it right in the zone. He had good protection. Brooks just jumped it right in front of Skylar Baker, the senior wide receiver. First and 
So another drive here for Franklin here in the Milford Mill. 31, that's where they started last time. Interception. Looking to put another six on the board. And there's the handoff trick play to the to Kennedy. And he's going to be stopped. Not a lot of success on that play. That quickly brings up second down. On the last tackle for the Millers. It's second down. Subbing into the game at tailback for Franklin, number 21, and Shane Ryan. King. Brown rolls to his left, running, looking deep to the end zone. He's looking for Alex Zones, and he got it. And correction, that's incomplete. He didn't get the feet in. Good execution. Just the pass rolled out a little bit long. One able to get the feet in there. So now that's going to bring third down for Franklin. As we see here on the replay, the pass was caught, and he was didn't get any feet in. All he needed was one. Couldn't drag the foot. Third down at Milford 32-yard line. Jones, the lone receiver at the bottom of the screen. Brown, pressure coming. He escapes, scrambles. Still going, still moving. And he's going to be slammed down to the turf. Makai Booker and Jordan Moran in there on the stop. And it's going to be fourth down. And there's a strong initial rush there by Eric Smith. So third, fourth down at the vault at the 29-yard line. Seven minutes and counting here left in the opening half. Shane King, added running back, and the backup Cameron Howard in at quarterback for this play. Throws the screen to Smith, and he's leveled. D. Kobe Roberts popped Shane King on that play, getting the Milford faithful to their feet as a turnover on downs. Six thirty-two left here in the second quarter. Milford Mill looking to get some points on the board as they were down two scores. Ball at the thirty-three. Four wide receivers. Holmes pressure. He's going to use his legs. Stiff arm. Forty. And go down at about the forty-six. And that's going to be a first. And Holmes hobbled on the sideline, but he's going to return to the field as you see here. The pocket collapse escaped right up the middle to get right at the own 47-yard line. Skyler Baker, number seven, the receiver at the bottom of the screen. Fake handoff to Smith. Holmes looking. He's got his receiver, Corey McCormick. But well, it's going to be incomplete. Short arm that pass there. Second down. Second down. And 10. So far in this game, Milford Mill has had a little bit of success on their first few possessions. Not a lot going in terms of getting points on the board. They've still yet to get into a Franklin territory. Holmes in the pistol. Holmes, pass rush coming. He's in trouble and he's going to be sacked. Number 56, Austin Amani in there for the sack. He's had his fingerprints all over this first half as well. Consistently bringing pressure on the front line of Franklin. 
And there he's able to collect a sack on the play. Loss, 11 yard loss on the on play the for Milford. So it's going to be third, third down, down and extremely long all the way back at their own 33. And they're going to hand it off. That's Moran. Breaks a tackle. Got it, Langle. Down at right at the 50. And that's going to be waiting for the referees. Chain gang. So it's going to be fourth down. Isaiah Craig, number 20 in. And Milford's going to elect to punt it away here. Back deep on the return for Franklin is Vaughn Reams, number four. Isaiah Craig doing the punting. And a line drive kick. That's going to take a Milford Mill bounce. And that's going to stop right at the 20 yard line. Franklin coming back onto the field. Their drive sold inside Milford Mill territory. And Vernon Brown, who was injured on the last play, he's line. back in the game at quarterback. Four nineteen left in the first half. Trips to the left. Shane King, the tailback, number twenty-one. And he's going to roll to his right, looking. He finds his target, Makai Felton, at the 40, high 7, 50. And he's going out of bounds at about the 45. Excellent job there on the pass completion there from Brown to Felton. He's going to be taking his talents to Fordham University next year in the Bronx in New York. Three sport athletes. So first and 10, again, Franklin and Milford Mill territory at the 45. And there's the draw to Sh Shane King. Oh, cuts inside, down at about the 32. On the A big chunk of yardage, King. and that is enough for carry. Franklin for the, the first down. The As the Indians looks the like they're down. getting in rhythm here and comfortable so here in the second down. quarter. 3.50 left here in the second quarter. With 3.56 left in the first half. Brown in the pistol. And he's going to do a handoff to Felton, and he's going to trip. They're going to credit a tackle that on number 24, Demetrius Price, the junior defensive end there on the stop. Saw a little trickery. Lost his footing there with Felton. It's second down. Ball at the 39 yard line, second and long. Reams in a tailback. He's gonna take the inside carry and he's gonna be held down. That's Moran with a, grabs a tug of the jersey for the tackle Moran number five, Moran, Moran on the stop. The so third down. They're down about eight, eight, nine eight yards, yards for Franklin. On the last play, it's third down. Jones and Morant at the bottom of the screen at receiver for Franklin. And there's the play action fake. Makai Booker missed the sack. Brown throws it, and it's intercepted. Big interception for the Millers. Number 84. Big play for the defensive back. As the strong pass rush there by Booker, disrupting the timing. A quick rush throw by Brown and the interception by Milford. So that's the first turnover of the game for Milford Mill. 
2.27 left as the Milford faithful getting excited. And there's the snap for Holmes. Pressure coming, breaks away, scrambling. And he's gonna run out of bounds right back at the line of scrimmage. But there's a flag on the play. Might be a hold on Milford. Penalty flag near the 28 yard line. Waiting for the officials to make the call. Is this, that's been the lone bright spot for Milford Mill thus far. Two interceptions by Holmes and the referee, a head official is gonna nullify the penalty. So that's gonna be second down still and about 10 was he was right back at the line of scrimmage. Holmes is going to be under center. And quick screen pass to Jamar Gaynor. Has it in space. Spins down at about the 33. Jamar, Jamar Gaynor, wide receiver, the slot receiver. Junior had some nice quickness there. Good block there by Khalil Scott, 21. For a first down. It'll be first and 10 and about the Milford 32. Two, ten left. Two minutes, five and seconds left in the down. half. Holmes in the gun. Hand that off to Scott. Nowhere. Cyrie Hopkins in there on the tackle for loss. Hopkins on the tackle. Another strong display of the Franklin penetration getting in there for the stop. Mill for Mill getting set as they got a Trips to the, to the left. Jamar Gaynor goes in motion from left to right. Holmes, pass rush, Harris throws it up in the air and gets it out of bounds. Holmes' is pass, pass is incomplete. There's a penalty flag. Looks like it might be Getting an intentional grounding, and that is the penalty. Intentional grounding against the Miller. Penalty will be marked Again, Montre on Harris. Two in there to create the pressure and the Aaron pass for Rashad Holmes. As the Milford offensive line having a little bit of trouble here with a strong front four of Franklin consistently getting some pressure. Looks like there's a penalty. It might have been too many men in the fiddle, too many men on the field. So they're going to move back a few more yards. So Milford is going to be way back at their own, looks to be 11 yard line. Resume play here in the second quarter. 114. Hand off to Jordan Morant. Nowhere to go. A tribe of Indians in there on the stop. Picked up a short gain. Maybe, maybe a yard gained on that play, and that's going to be fourth down. And Milford is going to punt it away. With 67 seconds. Timeout on the play. In the first half. As Franklin calls a timeout, they're going to preserve some time here with one minute, four seconds left here in the opening half. It's been all Franklin here, up 14 nothing, two scores on Mill for Mill. All done by way of uh, two takeaways.
interceptions by Hopkins as well as a strong running game. Jonathan Smith getting a touchdown in the first quarter. And then Ahmad Mosley getting a rushing touchdown as well. Back to punt for Milford, number 20, Isaiah Craig. Back to return at about the 40-yard line is number four, Von Reams. Snap is good. Solid punt. It's going to bounce, and Vereens has it at about the 45, and he's going to be – Tackled on the play by number 25, Stephen Jackson, Jackson the junior for the linebacker for the Millers. After a short return, the ball's 53 seconds left here in the, the first half. Yard line. Franklin setting up shop at the Milford 39-yard line. This is their, if I recall, their third possession here in Milford Mill territory. Looking to put some more points on the board. Vernon Brown, and we got a false start. That was some movement. That was on number false three start. wide receiver, it's Anthony Moran. It's a five yard penalty. So five yard penalty, false start. So now it's gonna be, be first, first and 15. 15. The Probably the only lone mistake Franklin line. has made thus far in this ball game here in the first half is that penalty. First down, 15 yards. Brown, he's going to scramble. Wide open spaces up the middle, and he's going to slide at about the 30. And Brown, clock still rolling, and he's going to clock it with 30 seconds left. You saw here on the replay, Brown. Fake the screen, which opened wide open for a nice short gain at the 30, inching closer into field goal territory for a senior kicker, Simon Spath. Four wide receiver set. Brown looks. Short pass, and he's decked. Tripped up by Silva. Keyshawn Silver there on the tackle for Franklin. And as I'm joined here in the booth with Tim Tooten Sr. Well, hello there. Coming at the halftime break of a big game. Big game here, Tim. Game has been all Franklin thus far, Tim, here. 14 done here with 20 seconds left here in the opening half. What a great night for football. Great night for football. Tremendous atmosphere here at Franklin, excuse me, at Milford Mill Academy. Great crowd tonight as well. And waiting for the officials to resume play. And here we go. There's not much time left to do any damage here, but uh, there's pressure. Brown. He's going to throw it wide open, finds his man, breaks the tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. Wow. Senior Makai Felton. That's playing it to the end. Tremendous play there, Tim. And it looks like Milford, they just lost him on coverage there. And right down the sideline. wide open. Broke the tackle. The a half. big second effort. And, and that's a big touchdown, Tim, to make it three scores. Puts a real dent, put some real distance between Franklin and Milford. You know, Tim, a good example of uh, no matter how much time is on the clock, you never give up. You play the play to the end. Uh, this young man had a third effort to get into the end zone. Oh, 
That is Vernon Brown's first passing touchdown tonight. And now a chance He's to increase it. Simon Spath in for the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. 17 seconds left here in the opening half, Tim. It's all Franklin, 21 to nothing. And if you're a Milford, a lot of ground to make up in the second half. A lot of ground to make up. This is Franklin Indians, Tim, the defending state champions. So a lot of poise, a lot of senior experience. They're the more prepared team, it seems, thus far. And they made a statement. If I look at the uh, scoreboard, they're just walking in. I could hear all of the applause on the way in. I didn't know at the point who was winning, but now I do. And right there with head coach Anthony Burgos. This is his uh, 17th year at the helm for Franklin. Three state championships, consecutive state championship appearances in the last six or seven years, Tim. So let's count this quarter. We can count this one out. This half. What will the Millers have to do coming back to get into this game? A well, lot. It's all going <laughs> to start. They're going to have to get some points on the board, especially here in the, going into the second half. They're going to have to score and score quickly and make some stops on Franklin, Tim. Here at Milford Mill, talked to the principal on the way in and uh, made me feel special. Here at Milford, Tim, this is their 70th year here at Milford Mill Academy, 70 years of Milford football and the school. A wonderful staff here at the school, very welcoming. Uh, hard to get a parking spot outside. This is really a big game, an important game. And there's a quick kick. Samuel Scott will rest, take it at the 36-yard line. Scott downs the ball near the Milford 36-yard line. So the season well underway in Baltimore County and uh, certainly a lot of excitement about uh, a new season. New season as we hear in uh, week four of the high school football season here. Miller's, their undefeated rank, undefeated season is a little cloudy right now. They're 3-0, Tim Franklin at 2-1. And, and there's still a whole other half left. <laughs> and with that, Milford's going to take a knee and they're going to go into the locker room with some second half adjustments definitely needed here tonight. The Baltimore County rivals, Milford Mill, down to the state champion Franklin Indians, 21 to nothing. Stay tuned for our second half coverage. I'm Tim Toon Jr. here with my colleague, Tim Toon Sr. Great to join you, my friend. at some of the highlights here in the first half. That was the first drive there by Jonathan Smith. Really set the tone for Franklin. And as there was a big crushing it on the play, that was Damon David, the senior safety. And some of the other plays here, that was the run there by Von Reams. That's really established for Franklin. It was a strong running game. Two of their touchdowns, Tim, in the first half was by running the football. And Bill Formello is there. That's the been also the story of the defense. Wow. A oh strong man. penetration of the pass rush and rushing for Franklin. That's really flushed to Rashawn Holmes, and he's had two interceptions. And that's really helped. That's really helped out Franklin to gain a big advantage. And I guess that can really make the difference in terms of what you're doing on both sides of the ball. Yeah. And a lot of the interceptions they've Franklin has had great field position in Mill for Mill territory about three or four of their drives have been in Milford Mill territory with their turnovers converted them right into touchdowns. Another interception there, so I guess turnovers has been the big key to where we are right now. Still looking at some more highlights. There's the true escape ability of Vernon Brown. That is was his only miscue there was that interception. And as you hear, look at the last play here, the rush there by Brown. Well, Here's the touchdown. <laughs> that was the Mackay Felton, who again is taking his talents to Fordham University next season, the three sport athlete. Halftime score 21 here at to halftime, nothing. Franklin Tim leading Mill for Mill 21 none. 
We'll be back for the second half highlights. Today, high school students face many options for academic growth and career preparation. Making informed choices about their high school program of study will prepare students for success in further education and preparation for rewarding careers. The Baltimore County Public Schools Career and Technology Education Programs provide students with relevant career skills, preparation, and rigorous academic coursework. Our state-approved programs of study are designed to prepare students for the 21st century global economy and its rapidly changing workforce needs. CTE offers hands-on, project-based learning opportunities, work-based learning and internship opportunities, post-secondary career pathways that include registered apprenticeship, industry certification, community college certificates, associate degree programs, and four-year college degree programs. High school CTE programs of study give students like me the opportunity to transition smoothly into post-secondary education and to earn college credit and or industry credentials in our career field of interest. CTE integrates core academic knowledge with technical and occupational knowledge to provide students with pathways to post-secondary education and careers. These career paths include occupations in arts, media and communication, business, management and finance, consumer services, hospitality and tourism, construction and development, environmental, agricultural and natural resource systems, health and biosciences, human resource services, information technology, manufacturing, engineering and technology, transportation technologies. The CPS Gerald to see program the Junior Reserves Usher Training Corps Unit provides courses in leadership education designed to improve interpersonal skills by developing character, self-discipline, and responsible citizenship which will lead to career opportunities and lifelong learning. Each BCPS Comprehensive High School offers a variety of CTE and Technical Center programs. Enrolling in CTE is easy. Speak with your school counselor. Team BCPS being off for the summer is great. We enjoy the summer raid, but we also continue to expand our knowledge and growth, so let's take a look. I'm here at art camp because I like art. It's good for when I'm stressed and it and it, I just like creating things with like clay and painting. It's a nice camp to come to. It you can meet some great people and learn some new things with some great teachers. It's important to have this program in place because it gives students this time during the summer just to express themselves. I love singing. Singing helps me describe my emotions and especially with my facial expressions, I can just go on and basically describe what I'm trying to say with my face. This is my fifth year participating, and I think one of the big things that draws me back is just the enthusiasm from all the teachers here. They're taking time out of their summer to come, and they're just so knowledgeable about music and all these techniques, and they put so much like time and passion into it. And our BCP students are able to get hands-on experience and be involved in some amazing events. So we're doing our summer refresh process, and our summer refresh process consists of bringing devices into this area from the elementaries and middle schools so that they can be cleaned, determine what's wrong with them, move through a repair process, and then be prepared to go back out to our middle schools so they can start the school year with clean working devices the first day. I always had an interest in computers, so because of that, I can't do any of classes related to computers. So this really helps me actually get hands-on experience about what I'm looking at. It's so cool, like, I guess I look inside, I get to know what causes what to happen, and I feel like so intelligent just like knowing, especially teaching other people how to work with it too. 
I'm in the IT magnet at my school, so I wanted to do a bit more hands-on and get more into the work field. Right now, my favorite station is repair. Only reason why I say that is because I prefer to do like hardware things and seeing like the whole parts of the computer and be able to like go in, repair it, put it back together, and just see all the components of the computer. I wanted to get involved in this program because I wanted to be able to be that teacher that can impact students' lives and not just be the teacher that stands up and just teaches just to get that across to them. I want to be able to help them like further not just their knowledge but their personal lives as well. I'd love to come back and teach for Baltimore County Public Schools because they have helped me grow so much as a person. Like after my grandparents passed away, it's like they have really brought me to realize that teachers are needed more than ever and like teachers are more important to students and their learning. I'd like to thank Avid because Avid helped me as well as my mother not only grow into the shoes my father left behind, but Avid also gave me the tools I needed to take them down a different path. Thank you. Today felt good speaking in front of everybody because it was really a great opportunity. It helped me really learn how to express myself. Uh, this was really a challenge for me. I used to stutter and it made me feel like I overcame a lot of obstacles. It felt great to be able to share my story with over a thousand people and it just wants me to go up. No other way but up from here. Please turn your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. Go forth and make a difference in our community, in our world. Go forth and be you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome home. Welcome home. What was great about today, we actually saw teaching and learning happening in every classroom. We want a great challenge for our students. We want rigor in every classroom. And just to see what's happening in our classes today just says we are on the right track here in Baltimore County Public Schools. Well, I enjoyed my first week back to school, and I hope you did too. Have a great school year. Hey BCPS, do you know the importance of kindness matters? Maybe you held the door for someone. Maybe you've listened to a friend about a problem. We want everyone to support each other in positive ways. But being a kind of bullying can impact students. We the students of Baltimore County announce BCPS Kindness Matters Month, which takes place throughout October. Kindness matters because everyone deserves to feel great and do well in school. Here's what we're doing this year. We're celebrating all month during the first week of October. We'll make sure that we understand bullying. During the second week, we'll discuss how to be an upstander instead of a bystander. Then we'll talk about preventing cyberbullying. And finally, we get to Kindness Matters Week from October 21st to 25th. Each day, we want you to show how kindness matters. By wearing a different color shirt and focusing on a new word of the day. Monday. BCPS Blue for Civility. Tuesday, Green for Equity. Wednesday, Orange for Unity. Thursday, Red for Respect. Friday, Purple for Positivity. And that's not all. We want everyone to sign a pledge against bullying. You have to really mean it. Kindness matters. Just sign it! And what else? All week, schools and students will have the option of how to participate. Maybe your school will have a day devoted to making new friends. Maybe a day to take a selfie with a new friend. Perhaps create a positive music video. And all week, tweet, hashtag BCPS be kind. Send us your positive, powerful, and profound tweets. Let's stop the negative words and images found on social media. And replace them with positive ones. Post positive words and pictures on Twitter, again at hashtag BCPS be kind. Then tag five people and ask them to do the same. Oh. Let's make sure everyone knows kindness matters in BCPS and across the county. Kindness matters. Don't be a bystander, be an upstander. Hashtag BCPS be kind. It starts with you, ends with us. Live here, getting ready to start the second half.
here at Milford Mill Academy. Franklin up 21-0 here on the second round, second half here. I'm Tim Toon Jr. here. Joining me in the press box is Tim Toon Sr. How are you doing, Tim? Man, it's great to be here. This is Friday Night Lights. Uh, certainly a lot of excitement, and I'm sure Milford want to see the math change. <laughs> They would love to see the math change. <laughs> got, they got their work cut out for him. Got their work cut out for them, Tim, here in the second half. They're down three scores. Franklin's getting the ball first. They're going to need a strong stop by Milford's defense. So, Tim, what would they have quickly. to do? What do you think they got to do to get right back in this game and get an opportunity early? Well, I think, for one, they're going to need to get a nice progression on offense, uh, maybe a mixture of run and pass plays. And definitely on your first drive and second half, you got to get some points. 80 points, six or threes. It's got to be some points, Tim. And then if you, of course, if you're, you're Milford, uh, if you're uh, Franklin, you want to hold this thing. <laughs> yeah, Franklin here on the second half. They're going to get the first ball first here in the second half. Sitting up to kick is number 64, Stephen Williams. It's and a brand new game. Back to return for Franklin is Vaughn Reams and number five, Makai Felton. Excitement building, and there's got to be a, a change of strategy <laughs> at this point if you're Milford Mill. A stop is most definitely needed, preferably a three and out so they can go back there and score. Not easy coming back from 21 down. Never easy. It's definitely going to be a, a slow progression. A lot of things are going to have to go their way. Maybe some plays by Divas, some turnovers to get some excellent field position, which is what Franklin did, Tim, in the first half to get their points. But as you said earlier, and you certainly know the background of this Franklin team, this is a good ball club. Yes, Tim, this is the state champ, reigning state champions, very seasoned players. They got their quarterback, Vernon Brown, first-year starter last year, had a lot of success, led him to state championship, and they had a lot of seasoned pieces as a wide receiver and linebacker, known for their defense, Tim, pass rushing and defense. Talk to the right coach, they'll tell you it's a brand-new ball game. You can certainly hope that. It's with these two coaches, we got – Reggie White, head coach of Milford Mill. This has uh, been a decade plus years for him. Uh, he was on the, he has on the only team state championship team in 87. So looking to use some of that leadership and, and wisdom and experience to this, this Milford Mill club, Tim. And I'm always amazed with the high school level is the amount of time you see these coaches who have been on the job mentoring kids and coaching them on the ball field, but also mentoring them in the classroom. It's amazing. It's the beauty of high school sports. <laughs> so Mill for Mill, ready to kick it away here. Again, number 64, Stephen Williams kicking it away for the Millers. It's going to be a short kick. Franklin has it. Going to be taken down at about the 36-yard line. That was number nine, Kai Felder, on like, the return. For like Young might have been in on that tackle, or Jamari Young, uh, getting in, chasing uh, to bring him down. And of course, great field position. On the return. First, so, first drive here for Franklin. For the, for the Looking to put another dent into the scoreboard here in the third quarter. First play, third quarter. Felton in motion, fake the handoff to him. That's going to go to Jonathan Smith. He's got a seam down at the 50. Oh, there was some daylight on that run, too. That was some good running. Looks like Jarrell Gaynor able to step in and to prevent what could have been a long one, Tim. Smith picking up where he left off in the first quarter, Tim, where he had a, as you saw on that strong run touchdown play, he just busted a seam here right at the 50. He's got and another hold. off to him again, and he's down at about the 40. Another chunk play, 10 yards gained there by Smith. It looks like he may have slipped on that one. Uh, Gaynor, of course, who just made that last tackle, had moved up, prepared to take him down, but after nine yards carry. 
brings up a second and one. The holes second are there. Down and one yard the to go. On the 41 yard line. In Milford Mill, 44, 41 yard line. Hand off to Smith again. Here's that same play. And he's going to be stopped immediately. That's Angel right Figueroa. Line Steps in to make the tackle number 52 for Milford. Able to read the play and prevent what Angel could have been another Figueroa. breakthrough. On the last tackle for Milford. And number four, Von Reams subbing into the game. It's at tailback. Third down. As well as number 26, Amon Mosley, who had a touchdown in the first quarter as well. So far, just running plays, no pass plays in this half so far. And there's the handoff to Reams. And he's going to be stopped. And that's going to be a third down stop for Milford. And it's going to be fourth down. That's a big play. Look like Figueroa may have been somewhere in the neighborhood as well. It's trying to plug that hole. Khalil Scott in on the and It looks like Franklin, they're going to go for it, Tim, on fourth down. Scott also helping to plug that it's hole. Three. Got a three wide receiver set, fell into the bottom. Crawford, number 19, in the slot. Pistol formation. A bold play. Here's the handoff to Mosley. Breaks the tackle. Think he's going to have enough for a first down. Let's see what and the officials say. Figueroa and on the Correction. stop. He stopped short, Tim. But will it be enough? Turnover on Jones. Now that's a big big start. Good start for the Millers. So if you're Franklin, are you just being cocky on that play? Or uh, there's no need to play it safe? Oh, no, I believe wholeheartedly they just, they just want to get that extra yard. It was only a yard to go, Tim. They've had success running the ball, so I think they were really confident they were going to get it there. Well, uh, certainly a good opportunity for Milford to show. Don't bring that back here. Big stop. Correction. Wait a minute. It might oh, be a, call first it a down. first down. Looks like they're calling it a first down. And Milford. it's a timeout by time Milford out. Mill. Head coach Reggie White calling a timeout. I guess if you, if you follow the sticks, it, it, it appeared to be uh, they come up short. But let's see what uh, coach is certainly giving an earful to the officials. Coach White, I don't think he likes that. I don't think he liked the call. I think he thought there was a stop there on fourth. And there's some more conversation. And now Milford's going to go back on the field. He's a bit upset about that call. And they're going to call the first down. So it's going to be first down and 10 at the Milford 40-yard line. Well, the Miller certainly showed effort on that last play, uh, just not quite enough. Got the three trips formation, wide receivers to the left. Corey Crawford, the lone receiver to the right at the bottom of the screen. Brown rolls to his right. And run a signature play. He's going to throw it deep and misses his defender, his wide receiver. Moran, the intended target. In the neighborhood. It's certainly a long pass. And this is the first pass we've seen from Franklin uh, here in the third quarter. And the few times they have passed him, it's been, it's been very successful playing off their running game, run, run pass option, strong running. I guess a matter of trying to throw off your opponent. But certainly the middles could use a big stop here. Brown hands it off to Smith, dragging defenders down to about the 21-yard line. Another strong five to six-yard run Moran there by Green. Smith. Robinson on the last stop. Like, like Morant was in on that tackle with a couple of other Millers, and uh, these running backs from Franklin, uh, they carry two or three guys with them when they come through. And I think that power move, that running, the moving your feet is paying off for Franklin. First and 10. Brown screen pass to Coy Crawford, tripped up, but stays on his feet. And Morant down at about in. the 21-yard line. On the reception 
looking at a lot of game film. This is a play that Crawford and Brown are very comfortable with, Tim. And what Franklin runs a lot of slip screens to get their blockers downfield, use their speed, and get the first down. And there's Morant. He's right there to save the day because one tackle away, he could have been in the end zone. Brown, another screen here. This time, that one is to, I believe that's number 21, Shane King. And Scott's in on the tackle. Khalil Scott able to read that. Khalil Scott on the tackle for the Millers. Scott saved the day again. Everything's a possibility here. This uh, Franklin club is explosive. Second down. Brown, he's going to hand it off. That's Von Reams. Got a seam. He's Use got speed. And he fumbles. Who recovered it? Franklin recovers it for the touchdown. And that, that is a power number play. 84, Alex Jones, on the touchdown recovery for Franklin. Franklin is having their way, Tim. I don't know what the Millers can do to the momentum that certainly is going. As you see in this replay, he finds the hole. And even though he's brought down, be thought, loses the ball. And here's what happens next. Just the ball bounced right in front for Franklin. That was a Franklin bounce there, Tim. And Alex Jones, who is the holder here, Quick reaction, great position effort to get that touchdown. And that's more than a lucky break. But yet it uh, puts a lot more pressure on the Millers in the third quarter. And the kick is up and it's good. Two minutes gone by here in the third. Franklin puts another score on the board here. And they lead 28 to nothing over Milford Mill. Tim, it didn't take very long for this drive. I certainly think once what we saw was uh, a couple of pass plays, a couple of screen plays, but basically it's been what I can see is the power running. It's a power running and that experience offensive line able to open up some holes for the running back to run right through, get some big gains, and just keep the chains moving, which is it's really been the story of their game. Start with a run to create some opportunities in the passing game and, again, puts another dent in the scoreboard. That's not like a broken record, but if you're Milford, what do you do to stop this? Points, points, turnovers, and more points, Tim. And to prevent the points. Well, here's another opportunity, but certainly uh, this is a, a David and Goliath type situation from where we're sitting. Franklin certainly flexing their muscle. And there's a kick. That's going to go roll out of bounds and... That's going to be a flag on Franklin. Twenty-eight nothing here at Milford Mill. Two great ball clubs right now. Only one is making the most noise, and that's Franklin. And it's not. It's not. It's not the Milford Mill fa faithful Tim. So with that penalty. There's going to be some good field position. Correction. Looks like going to kick this back to him from a little bit further away. They're going to re-kick this one. Looks like it's a penalty maybe on Franklin. Yeah, it looked like it might have been a false start there. That's what it was, a false start. If there's anything as a big play, Milford could use one right about now. This Franklin club, Tim, I've seen speed. I've seen, like you mentioned, good blocking on the offensive line. It makes it real difficult to stop them. And there's the kick. Back on the return for Franklin. Excuse me, Milford Mill. That's number six, Keyshawn Silver. Oh, puts him on spin cycle. 20, 40. He's still moving. He's going. 50, 40. Oh, and he's tripped up at about the 43-yard line. Wow. Oh, my heavens, the promised land was there, Tim. A heck of a run. Shane King makes the stop for Franklin. He may have been at the house. My goodness, that would have been a major spark for Milford Mill. Here it is. As you look here on the replay, spin cycle there. Goes by another tackle there. And just some good blocking at down field as he was tripped up right to the 43. And there's the run play there. Holmes calls his own number. 
a quarterback sneak. Austin Amati comes in for the tackle for Franklin. Not getting much there. And Rashawn Holmes is down. Looks like he's shaking up there, Tim. It looked like a busted play on that. I, it looked like the quarterback could not uh, find anything open in the passing department and went for it himself. And uh, Lewis read that and stepped right in, uh, able to uh, make the tackle. And Andre on the field. So as both teams retreat their sidelines, as the medical team attends to Rashawn Holmes, quarterback for Mill for Mill. You never like to see this, certainly. These young men play hard, and you're always hoping that uh, you can get through one of these without any serious injuries. So we're wishing him the best as the attendants come on the field to check out Milford's quarterback. Well, certainly they showed something there, Tim, on that on that run back. Uh, we, we did see speed, and we, we saw that Milford has the ability uh, to make some things happen. And certainly they're in good field position as Holmes is, looks to be okay, Tim. He's up and walking off with his own power. Rashawn Holmes walking out under his own power. As the Millers try it again. So coming in to play, coming in place of the injured, Rashawn Holmes is number two, Jarrell Gaynor, who caused quite a bit of damage on the Jarell other side of the ball. Gaynor, number two, now in at quarterback for Milford. It's His first year at Milford played some ball at Woodlawn last year, and there's a handoff to Jordan Morant, breaks a tackle, Morant, strong Jordan run Jordan. inside the 35-yard line. Stopped by Damon David, who steps in, but not before the Millers come very close to a first down. And after one play, Coach Tim, Rashawn Holmes is back in the game. Third down, one, one yard to go. Trips to the right, Morant in the backfield. He's going to take the carry. More than enough for a first down and moving the chains. He's got room. A big first down as they are inching closer to the red zone. And Jordan Moran is down, looks like he might have a cramp. And that right calf, he's gonna hobble off, get some fluids in there. A bit of a drive going here for Milford, up against a couple of injuries. So subbing in from from Morant is number three, Samuel Scott in the backfield. He's going to take that carry, and he's going to be men in the backfield. Yeah. Looks like that was Ahmad Mosley in there on the stop. Austin Ahmadi steps in, reads that play, and immediately brings him down. Milford trying to put something together. 5.33, third quarter. It's a race against the clock, Tim. They need a score. Second down. And they need to score quickly. There's the fake. Oh, Rashawn Holmes, he's going to scramble. He's got room. And he's going to stop right at the 16. Some running room there, Tim. Well, I think there was uh, not much of a play. And with this ability to move, he used his legs. Steps up, runs in, sees a hole. First, First time today, Milford Mills in, in the red zone, looking to put six on the board. Xavier Coakley comes up to not make the stop, but by then, quarterback was already down. There's the handoff to Keyshawn Silver, who had the strong return. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play there, Tim. Maybe a hold block in the back. You're hoping it's not against you. It's holding, holding. Tim. That is the call. And that puts you out of the red zone. That's a crucial play. And a momentum stopper. 
Certainly had a good tempo going into that last couple plays, Tim, but that just pushes them right back for that holding penalty. They're going to march it off. 15 against the Millers. Ball now marked on the Indian 22-yard line. That's still a pretty good field position, Tim, and an opportunity to make something happen. This is their big chance. Rod receiver in motion. That's going to be Gaynor. He takes the, the handoff, shakes and bakes. Strong effort there, Flay. And he's be down about the 18. He made something on none there, Tim. Almost got wrapped up in the backfield. Very scrappy. On the carry. See on the replay, just just slips the tackle out of Montre Harris. And back about the line of scrimmage. In fact, uh, they still got a ways to go to get a first down. Not quite yeah, sure if that was a play or not, Tim, if it was just an effort to survive. Second down and 11 yards to go. Silver takes the carry again right up Here's the middle. Room. Nice, nice crease run there by the offensive line. That's a huge play for the Millers. Big play right inside the 10 yard line. They are inches away, Tim. Looking to get their now first score. Hurry up offense here. I see Holmes is back in the game. Their starting quarterback. And there's a hand to sit off the silver. And there's Ooh. nothing. St stonewalled by a tribe of Indians. A wall up by Franklin. But it's good to see Holmes back on the field. He went out a little while ago, was down with the injury, but this is their best shot to make something happen to make a statement. And there's a timeout on the play by the Franklin Indians. 4.15 left here in the third. This quarter is gone by quite quickly, Tim. So, Tim, what's happening as we end into this uh, third quarter, a touchdown by Franklin. Uh, the Millers making the best drive of what I've seen yet and put themselves in scoring position, but there's still a long six yards. A long, long six yards. You know, Tim, as you get closer to the end zone, that field gets a lot smaller and not a lot of plays that you can call. What I've seen so far has not been uh, looked like planned plays, but certainly just desperation plays, and desperation sometimes works. Mill from Mill resuming play here in the third. Four, four fifteen left. Three receivers to the right. The handoff to Samuel Smith, and he walks it in for a Milford Mill touchdown. That was much needed. And the fans love what they're seeing in this third quarter. What a big play. What a great drive, Tim. And that is uh, the first touchdown of the game for Milford Mill. This is Samuel Scott's third touchdown of the season. And from best from what we could see, it was all on the ground. I don't think there was a pass in that series, but certainly scrappy in showing that they can move the ball. Got to be a confidence builder. And the kick is up, Gainer's and the extra point is good. good. And that was Jarrell Gainer who came in on the drive to play quarterback for the injured Holmes. He kicked the extra point there, Tim, doing a little bit of double duty tonight. A little daylight for this Milford team who began this drive with two injuries. Holmes, their quarterback, going out momentarily. And, of course, their running back number five, Morant, went out. And uh, they're back in, and the sideline, if you're Coach White, what are you saying on the sideline? Well, you're, cer you're certainly telling the fellows, you know, we got a touchdown, we got the momentum, let's go out. Let's repeat that effort on defense. Let's get a stop, let's get the ball back, let's make some moves. Let's get another score here before the quarter's over. All right. Only a three-score game, Tim, they're still in it. As the clock ticks away, here at Milford Mill. Number 30, set to kick off for Milford. With 4-10 left. 
The 30, Sheldon O'Brien, the lefty, kicking for Milford. And that ball is going to go right out of bounds at about the 20. There's a flag. A legal only procedure. maybe to identify, but I saw a flag on the play. Maybe that was to mark the ball. Either way, Franklin is. Yep, that, I was right. <laughs> I know yellow, Tim. <laughs> well, that's, that's not the start you wanted here on the possession there, Tim. Instead of having them deep back in their own territory there. They're going to be a little bit closer to Milford territory. Well, we'll see what this Milford defense is made of. They've got to get the ball back into their hands if they want to make a mark here. Well, this, the defense is certainly their calling card, Tim. They have a strong linebacking unit with uh, number five, Morant, Jordan Morant, uh, 22, Makai Booker, and number 21, Khalil Scott. A lot of strong linebackers there. and Make a stop here, get some pass rush. A touchdown has to be a confidence builder. Brown in the pistol. There's the handoff to Jonathan Smith. Short gain for him. Roberts and Robinson on the tackle. A penalty flag in the middle of secondary. The flag on the play. Kobe Roberts in for the tackle for Mifford. We'll see what the call is. Against, against the Millers. Looks like it might have been a personal foul penalty there. The five yard penalty. It's a ten yard penalty. It's, it's a, a fifteen yard penalty. Fifteen yard penalty. <laughs> well, that's, that's certainly not not good for Milford here, Tim. You want them to go backwards, not forwards. Well, that was a gift that they couldn't afford to give. Three, thirty seven left in the third quarter. Two penalties, Tim, in a matter of two plays. And that gives Franklin a bit of an edge. And there was on the bottom of the screen there, Tim. I think we can see it right there, yes. Some extracurriculars there, looks like. For Franklin, offensive player, a strong block, and just saw the face mask there. Kind of a heat of the moment, then cost your team some valuable yards. Penalty flag, waved off, first and ten. First and ten here in Milford Mill territory. There's the fake to Mosley. Smith able to find a crease. Morant Another strong Morant. run for Smith. Morant steps in and prevents what could have been another big run by Franklin. And this defense certainly needs, they need a miracle. They need a miracle at this point as the third quarter winds down. Second down. And there's the handoff. To He's the got room. Back. That was Von Reams using his speed. And there's a flag on the plate there, Tim. And it's going to be on Franklin. And Silver hobbles off, Tim, for the Millers. Was hurt on that tackle. Keyshawn Silver is on the sideline. Holding against the Indians. It's going to be a holding penalty there on Franklin, moving them back. Two minutes and 46 seconds left the here in the third quarter in our BCPS TV game of the week. And you need to stop here. You need a stop. And wide streamers, that's going to be a handoff to number 13, Malachi Dalton. And a host of Millers are there 
to meet that play. Brown and Booker both stepping in to plug that hole and seemingly doing a better job of uh, containing the uh, these Franklin runners, but they still need points. Big play, Tim. A big play and a big step. Franklin needs immediately. With time winding down here in the third quarter. Timeout by Franklin. Timeout, Indians with 147 left in the third quarter. So a crucial part of this ball game was certainly uh, Milford scoring their first touchdown, but uh, a lot of ground to make up to really get in this ball game. A lot of ground to make up, Tim, and they're going to have to get – Definitely get some points on the board and get some stops quickly on de defense to preserve some time to allow them to get some points. And when it comes to time of possession, I mean, that drive from Milford Mill earlier, they had the ball for a while. But right now, uh, Franklin has the clock. And time of possession. And that is simply their, their main objective here, Tim, is just keep milk on the clock and eat up the clock and less time for Milford to try to – make a second half surge here, here at home. You're exactly right, a very crucial series here for Franklin, but certainly for Milford Mill, if they want any hope of getting back into this ball game. Trips formation to the left. Crawford, the lone receiver at the bottom of the screen. Brown rolls to his left. Pressure coming. He's in trouble. He eludes it. But he's going to be sacked. That's number 45, Nathan Brown, the top tackler for Milford Mill. That was a huge play, a busted play it looked like, but certainly, uh, as you said earlier, Nathan Brown chased him down. You saw in the replay, Brown rolled to his left, and pass rush got there, and Brown was able to get his mitts on Brown. He's very mobile, that quarterback is. And Howard hands it off to Shane King. He's, He's got, got a run. lane. 30, 20, stiff arm down to about the 11-yard line. Nice burst by Shane King. That was a big run by Franklin. That, hurt, that run really hurts the Millers, Tim. And this is what they was using earlier was just the running the ball gun. And then we saw in that play uh, this Defenders uh, didn't have a chance of bringing down uh, this player. Tim, they just, it's been shown throughout this game that, uh, frankly, they have a, definitely a variety of backs. You see the big bruiser and Jonathan Smith, the speed there with Shane King and Von Reams. They're just slashing and finding the holes there, Tim. And there's the handoff to Smith. Correction, fake. Vernon Brown runs it in for the touchdown. But there is a flag, a flag on, on the, the play. play. It was a keeper. I'm amazed at the kind of speed. Holding it's going to come back. Indians. And they're going to call back that touchdown. It's going to be a hold on Franklin. But that play had even had us fooled there, Tim. I thought, I thought that was Smith running in there. Well, the quarterback can, can run. He proved the speed, uh, able to get to the outside, but it's coming back. Fifty-two seconds and counting left here in the third quarter. Franklin, one right quarter and fifty-two seconds of football left. Franklin, here at Milford Mill. Franklin knocking on the door. Brown screen to Crawford. He eludes it, still standing. He's going to be just short of the goal line, Tim. We've seen that a lot tonight. Crawford, he's able to make the first man miss, as you see here on the replay, just a shoestring. He's, he's done that quite a few times tonight, Tim, just eluding the first defender and moving the chains. Not quite sure if he was looking for the pick or it was just a busted coverage. 20 seconds and counting. Brown 
Corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Franklin. That was an and easy number one. two touchdown for Alex Jones. And that puts this game further out of reach for Milford. Even in spite of the penalties from Franklin, they Alex were able to Jones overcome those penalties Jackson. and get right to the goal line. 14.3 seconds left in the third quarter. It's 34 to 7. And Simon Spath in for the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. 13 seconds left here in the third quarter, Tim. The Franklin lead balloons to 28. 35 to 7, and Franklin can certainly say that they've been successful at moving this football. And I would say it's been majority run plays, and they've found what's worked for them. That's what you stick with. Certainly stick with uh, what's been definitely been successful. Uh, definitely the run game for Franklin. Again, as I mentioned, just a, a plethora of running backs. They just keep reloading and reloading. And, and Tim, it doesn't matter. It seems like it doesn't matter who's in the ball game. They're just they're getting yards, and they're getting them in chunks. Look at that last score. And while... The Millers expected a run. It was a pass play. So that defender was wide open to catch that into the end zone. And we're into the final quarter, Tim. And there is Keyshawn Silver looking to make another big return like he did on the last time. But a he's nine-yard return, nine return there for us. Down there on the 30-yard line. And the Millers give it another shot with an opportunity the last time they had the ball. They were able to uh, get down and to get a score. But now it's a race against the clock, Tim. Definitely a race against the clock as we are heading into the, the final <laughs> frame here, <laughs> Tim. The on the a lot of ground for them to make up. Last play, third quarter. Shot Holmes in the pistol. Hands it off to Moran. Bounces to the right side. He's going to switch fields. Oh, shake and bake. My goodness, juked him out of his boots. That was a great move by Moran. And that is a his hole and there was nothing there. He turned back. A nice run there That's to the end the third quarter, the quarter here. Three quarters to play here at Milford Mill Academy. Franklin leading Milford Mill 35-7. to seven. And then what we've seen from this Milford team is certainly what appears to be a lot of busted plays, but because of the speed, uh, they're, they're really scrappy and trying to make something out of a play. Looking at some of the third quarter highlights. Samuel Smith there getting on the board. First time for Milford Mill. That was huge. Huge play. And then here, the, one of the last plays. Uh, just saw there the touchdown there. That was and Alex the Jones. Answer. The strong answer there, Tim. And here, as we saw, the last play of the quarter here. Morant switching direction and it says, okie doke. And Jukes him out of his boots. Absolutely. 35-7, Tim. A lot of ground to make up for Milford Mill if they have any chance of making it close. At this point, it's not close at all. It's certainly, certainly not looking good for the Millers. We had high hopes coming into this game, Tim. 3-0, Mark. Strong start. They open the season winning against Newtown. Their rivals from down the street in Owens Mills and got a win over Hereford, followed by Eastern Tech, and came into this game pretty, feeling pretty confident, but looks like they might take their first loss of the season. And now the Millers must have, let's go to work. Second and five from the 35 and it starts line. with first downs, of course. <laughs> Waiting for the officials to adjust the clock to start the fourth quarter. So we can get our weekend started. 
the faithful Milford fans lining the fence, hoping for a miracle. But right now, it's going to be a steep mountain to climb. Here's we celebrate Milford Mill here, 70 years of this fine institution, Tim. Second down and five yards for Milford on their own 35. First play of the quarter. There's the handoff to Moran again. And initial surge there by Franklin. Amani on the stop, number 56. It's about two on that play. But they'll need more. It's got to be one first down at a time. But the clock is not in their favor. Rent comes off. A bit of a hobble, but he's been working on both sides of the ball. Skyler Baker, the senior receiver at the bottom of the screen. Khalil Scott going in motion. There's the hand to Samuel Scott, and he's taken down quickly. Scott, the As he's slung down Nothing to there. the turf. And that makes it fourth down. And Milford's going to punt it away, Tim. A very short, short possession. And that does not work at this point of the game, Tim. And you kick it and you put the ball Number right back 30. in the hands of Franklin to kill He's some more time tonight. off that clock. Green's if you're Franklin, four. what do you do? What's work for you? You keep running the ball. To receive the punt. And there's a nice punt there. Vaughn Reams is going to let it bounce. And it's going to take a Milford Mill bounce and stop at about the 20 yard line. So again, 10 minutes, 28 seconds left here in the game. Franklin and Milford Mill. Week four of the high school football season with our. BCPS TV game of the week, the Franklin Indians and, and the what Milford a great Mill tool. Let's shout out to the technical team here, uh, doing a fantastic job, uh, making sure that you get all of the action. This is an experienced group. There's the penalty, Tim. It's going to be a false start, start on Franklin, Tim. It's a five-yard penalty. So with that five-yard penalty, Franklin's going to move back five yards back to their own 15-yard line. Vernon Brown in the shotgun, in the pistol, and he's going to hand that off to his tailback. Gets a short gain. Second down, long coming for the Indians. No Tim Tooten Sr., honored to join Tim Tooten Jr. at another year of football here in Baltimore County. One of the finest programs uh, around the Beltway. And, uh, Baltimore County has some great teams and, again, uh, great uh, players we see each and every year showing up on the grid. There's the handoff to Jonathan Smith. Rumbles down to about the 29. Wide open spaces for Smith on that run. And again, Tim, it's a matter of possession that as they move the ball down, it's Franklin who's in charge. And there again, they're staying with that running game. It's been the most successful of them. And, and Smith is powering and really hard to bring down. And Brown's going to take a shot. Looking first man, Brown's incomplete. Makai Felton was the intended target on that play. Well, that's rare to see, a Franklin pass. <laughs> and they've been running, I would say, 95% of the time. But maybe this is an opportunity to try some things 
uh, as they prepare for the next game with this one almost in the bag. Here with 9, 9.21 left here in the game. One more score will bring out the running clock here. And He's Smith got room. finds a seam, hurdles a defender. Enough for a first down at the 45-yard line. Smith still running hard here in the fourth, Tim. He is some runner, Tim. Now he's a senior, isn't he? Senior tailback is uh, first year starting as Elijah Col excuse me, Elijah Solomon carried the load last year. With him moving on to graduation at Villanova University, Jonathan Smith picking up the role as the big tailback in the backfield. He's filling it in very well. And he gets the ball here. He's going to get some tough yardage to get to about midfield for about five yards. He's a workhorse. And he's going to come out here, Tim, to get a breather. And this Von defense Ream. certainly being tried and tested tonight. And they've been on the field Second quite a bit. The certainly some fatigue coming in for Milford. And the handoff to Von Reams. And he's upended at about the Milford Mill 44-yard line. Excuse me, 47-yard line. Looks like Gaynor. Khalil Scott. You see on the replay, when Airborne took yards. his legs right out. It's third down. So now it's going to be third down, Tim, and about two yards to go. And Franklin continues to eat up this clock as they drive toward the goal line. Big third down. And there's the handoff oh to the... New tailback in the game. That is Kennedy Fontenroy. And Moran is in with a host of Millers to make the stop, but it won't be enough Moran to prevent a first Smith. down. In on the last tackle. And a fresh set of downs, Tim. Again, that clock is still moving. Down. Clock continues to roll. Seven minutes left. First down ball, the 45 yard line. Franklin looking to continue to run the ball, go with what got them here, and milk this clock on their way to a victory. And there's a screen the pass play. to Kennedy. Quick step down at about the 32. Jeremiah Green, Green in the to make the, the stop to prevent what could have been a big play. There's a pass play. And there's the Franklin again using the screen pass there, Tim, to utilize their speed on their offense in this set. And Green drags attack. him down. First down. It'll be first and 10. The ball's on the Milford 30 yard line. Ball at the Milford 30, 10 yards away from the red zone. Brown hands it off to tailback Shane King. Gets about maybe three room. or four. Cleve Robinson in for the stop, but not before another big play. And the clock ticks away. Will be second and seven. The ball's on the 27 yard line. Ball on the 27. Franklin looking for more points. Screen, fake, Brown and he's going to be hot. sacked. In Nathan Brown game. in on the stop for the Millers Brown. for a sack. And Tim, time certainly Thanks. ticking down here at and Milford Mill. Time ticking as we're about five and a half left in the game here. Franklin Brown up 35 7. Milking the clock here. It looks like they're well, they're well on their way the to the victory number three, line. and picked up on the ground. A lot of a uh, lot of ground play there.
Brown has the snap. He's going to look deep. He's got his man wide open. Outstretched hands, and it's caught for the touchdown. Gavin Nelson putting his mitts on display for the Indians. That's a huge play. Another weapon from Franklin. As we see here on the replay, fake of the screen, Brown throws it right into the breadbasket of Gavin Nelson. And he does it with great success. And the kick is up. And the extra point is good, Tim. And this is out of hand. And with that, Tim, the score now 42 to seven, Franklin up on Melford. And with that, when they're, when the opposing team, when the team has a 35 point lead, that's when the running clock comes out. So the clock will run here. And the kinds of things that have happened tonight, Tim, certainly uh, it's, been, it's been Franklin's, it's been their game. Uh, they've, they've come out, they played hard. Uh, they certainly have uh, showed they uh, versatile on that last play that we can, we can pass the ball as well. And they've showed Tim why this is year after year. They continue to win county championships and move on to, to state to be competitive in the state Maryland playoffs, Tim, as they did last year winning state. Now you mentioned that one loss that Franklin had. Who was that loss to? That loss to us to uh, McDonough of the MIAA Conference. So it really was an unconference game? That was a non-conference team. This is their, their first game, Tim, here tonight in the Baltimore County Division as they have Milford Mill in this conference. They've got Towson in this conference. They've got Parkville. So this is their first one. And there's a fumble on the snap there by Milford. Keyshawn Silver gathers himself, but tackled down at about the 30-yard line. Right down near the 22-yard line, where the Millers will start to drive deep in their territory. Milford coming on the field here. Tim down 42 to seven. Just looking to get, probably looking to get some place here to go into next week. And the clock continues to tick away. And the officials call time. Timeout. Timeout all by Franklin. Certainly Franklin will execute a game plan tonight. Uh, again, mostly a running game, but uh, strong runners. Uh, they, they certainly show some poise. Uh, runners never gave up. Uh, Milford had their hands full from the start. A nice mixture, Tim, as you see in the run game of power and elusiveness, and then they'll and in the passing game, it's a lot of speed, and a lot of their plays have been done with either the little slip screen, bubble screen, or I saw in that last play, it's uh, using their speed for a long touchdown reception. And Milford, you can say, takes the loss, and that puts their record. That's going to get their first loss of the season to him, 3-1 and one on the season. First loss within the conference. Franklin, they're going to go to 3-1, and one, and they're going to go to 2-0 and oh in the Baltimore County Division standings certainly a great game tonight we had a couple of injuries but uh, those players are able to come back on the field you always like to see that Holmes finds his man that's Skylar Baker hurdles defender and down at about the 33 yard line and of course Timmy always play until the end to the very last play of the game, no matter what the scoreboard is saying, you continue to press. That's good discipline and great sportsmanship is to play until the last second. Sportsmanship is certainly the key here, Tim, in all sports, high two. school, pros or college. And Morant gets the carry, finds a scene up the middle, He's got 40, room. he's tripped up and falls down about the 45-yard line. And there's a flag on the play there at the end of the run. And a penalty flag. 
in the Indian secondary. And personal foul. Face mask. Face mask there on Franklin. So that's going to attack on a couple of a couple of more yards. And the clock continues to run, Tim, with uh, a little less, about 2.05. So the ball's going to be at the Milford, excuse me, the Franklin 30-yard line. Minute, 53 seconds left. One minute, in the game. 44 seconds and counting. Holmes looking to the sideline for the call. Wide receiver will go in motion. Holmes, he's going to scramble. He's the play breaks it. down, and throw throws. it deep, throws a duck, throws his pass. and it's incomplete. Incomplete. Well, they're not giving up. <laughs> that was a great pass play. Certainly competing to the very end here. Intended for Bryant Randolph. Here at Milford Mill for Friday night football here in Baltimore County. Tim Tooten in with Tim Tooten Jr. And a great staff here with the Baltimore. And Holmes going to throw a swing schools. pass to Morant. And he's going to be a nice tackle on the play. That's number 24. By P.J. That's a go -hoo. Morant certainly played a great ball game tonight, Tim. Uh, certainly did well on offense, Morant, and uh, did a great job on defense. He's certainly nothing to hang down his head about. This team has been scrappy until the end. 23 seconds and counting here left here in the ball game for Milford. Holmes looking for his receiver. Presser's coming and he's going to be sacked. And he goes down. In the middle of his backfield. And the big sack on the game there for Franklin. And that's going to be the final play of the game here, Tim. Clock running down. Franklin comes into Milford Mill and beats the Millers. 42 to 7 behind a very strong running game and passing performance by Vernon Brown. And I think the Franklin fans near us, they like what they see. And looking at what uh, Vernon Brown did last week, Tim, he's, he continues just to rack up the stats. Last week against uh, rival Dundalk, he had five touchdowns, had three tonight. Although they didn't really need those touchdowns, they had such excellent success with the ground game with Jonathan Smith and, and Vaughn Reams and Shane King. But well, Tim, the season is still young. They could meet again. Is that possible? It is certainly possible, Tim, because with this season, as far as state goes, there's some different classifications. Milford has moved to the 2A. Franklin is in the 3A. So there's a chance down the line these two teams could meet in the postseason. Have a good night. Have a good night. Certainly a great ball game tonight. Uh, able to join you here at halftime, and certainly always good to be in the booth. And Let's take, let's take a look back here. And, and this is what started going with Jonathan Smith really imposed his will with the run game as he not be denying just bring uh, three or four millers into the end zone for the touchdown. That's My what goodness. started to make it seven nothing. And he saw that was a reverse here. That was Whoa, what a hit. Tyree Shepard again. A lot of big hits early on in this game by Franklin. And then here is some of the Rashawn Holmes. Here's the pressure here, which caused a turnover. There's the first pick of the game. That was Syrie Hopkins there. The past game was certainly a challenge. It's had the short field right there. First rushing touchdown. That was Amon Mosley, 14 nothing. And then Cameron Howard came in for a player two, and that was a big hit there by Kobe Roberts. And then Brown back in there, Tim. Press coming, alerted. Broke it and throw the big. There's the interception right there. That's probably one of the few big plays there tonight for most oh, on defense. There's some bright spots, no doubt. You see, and this we saw right before the half that that was the touchdown, Makai Felton. You see, even though Fr Milford Mill was getting pressure to him, just Vernon Brown was able to escape and make some plays. And that makes for points. And points there, that was their Samuel Smith with his first touchdown. The only touchdown by Milford. And then as you said, there's those spots there. Brown touchdown to Alex Jones. Those two hook up for a second week in a row. And then going in here into the final frame where 
We saw a little more of the same here. This was a grueling fourth quarter. This was really was the put him to bed there with a touchdown. Excellent grab there by Gavin Nelson. Faking to the screen there. So. But nonetheless, you see here just a great performance there by Franklin. So they are still the top team in Baltimore County. 42 to 7. Here wrapping up here at Milford Mill Academy. Franklin lead beating Milford Mill 42 to 7. I'm Tim Toon Jr. with Tim Sr. Have a good night.